Welcome to Celebrating God's Grace, a Women World Leaders podcast. I'm your host, Janet Barong. Thank you for joining us today as we celebrate God's grace in our lives, in ministry, and around the world. It is so good to be back with you today, sharing about health, wellness, beauty, and Jesus. Yes, they do go hand in hand. Today, we're going to focus on the emotional and mental well-being. It's a three-part series where we touch base on being healthy physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Proverbs 17.22 reads, A joyful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. How many of us have experienced heaviness in a lifetime that literally feels like you have a crushed spirit? I can tell you it's happened to me more than once in my lifetime. Through suicide of loved ones, rape, emotional abuse, and trauma, I have felt that crushed spirit. Life's different ups and downs can affect our emotions and mental health. We are all have experienced a lot of up and downs this past two years with the pandemic, the unknown, isolation from our loved ones, sickness and disease, and some even death. Psalms 18.2 reads, The Lord is my rock, my refuge, and my deliverer. My God is my rock, and I whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I can say it's been true for me that God has been my rock and my refuge. If you're a woman listening today that needs that solid rock and refuge, I encourage you to call on the name of Jesus and let him come into your heart and be that refuge for you. In this season of life, give others a little extra grace. Focus on healthy things like turning off the TV and going outside, getting some fresh air, being around people who lift you up, be with community. Here are a few other things that will help you mentally in emotional wellness. Learn a new skill. Give to others. Pay attention and be present in the moment. Get physical touch. Yes, I said it. As a therapist, I'm a big advocate for healthy touch. Studies show that touch signals safety, trust, and it soothes. Basic warm touch calms the cardiovascular stress. It activates the body's vagus nerve, which intimately involves with our compassion response. And a simple touch can trigger release of the oxytocin, also known as the love hormone. So a single massage or touch can have a positive influence on our psychological health. And research findings show that it can improve anxiety, negative mood, and experience of physical pain. So get out and hug someone. It's for your good health. I don't think God intended that we would never experience anxiety or sadness. He created the emotion. What I do believe he desires for us is that we are not consumed by it. Instead, he wants us to depend on him for our peace. A certain amount of anxiety can actually be a good thing. It can fuel us and give us energy we need to accomplish certain tasks and goals. Anxiety becomes a negative when we are overwhelmed by it, and it causes distress, affecting our psychological and physical well-being. Philippians 4, 6, and 7 read, Do not be anxious for anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. You are loved. You are cherished, my beautiful sisters. Until next time, stay thankful, grateful, and be blessed. Dear Lord, we come before your throne of grace to say thank you for uniting us, women, so we can serve you and accomplish your plans in this world. Let each lady listening today Feel the anointing of the Holy Spirit in and on their lives. Heal the emotions and mental well-being of anyone that is suffering. I ask for complete healing in the name of Jesus. Lord, we love you. 
We honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening to Women World Leaders Podcast. Join us each Monday, Wednesday, and Friday as we explore together God's extravagant love and your courageous purpose. Visit our website at www.womenworldleaders.com to submit a prayer request, register for an upcoming event, and support the ministry. From his heart to yours, we are Women World Leaders. All content is copyrighted by Women World Leaders and cannot be used without expressed written consent.